Okay, I have a 96 5.2 ZJ with a 249, and I'm going to be swapping in a 231 out of a XJ. The case is dated 1995. Because this is out of an XJ, it has the right 0 0.840 input shaft, the right number of splines, but it is from an older one, so I have to knock that collar out of the bottom of the splines because that won't let it mate with the ZJ transmission. To do that, we need to get the input shafts. These instructions will work just as well if you're swapping the input shaft to a different length. So inch and an eighth takes a takes the <clears throat> that off. Ten millimeter takes that off. It's a couple places to put a screwdriver. Then we gotta get the snap ring off. I am not sure I can do this with one hand, but we'll see. Okay, we're having a good day today. And a 15 millimeter takes all these off. You might have a weird size bolt in this section. This one's clearly been at before. Which I guess makes it comes apart really easy. That never happens. You're gonna have to pry that apart. Now you're gonna have to sit that on something. So you can take this end off. May or may not work. One-handed. Again, that never happens. Okay. Make sure you don't lose those little, those three little plastic sliders. your input shaft. A 13 16 socket's gonna let me hit the collar. This is the collar that we're doing all that work to get rid of. Don't put it back in. The internet said the pilot bearing needs to be flush with the bottom of the input pilot bore or about 1.3 three nine inches from the flat face of the top of the input gear and I'm gonna put it back together and then I'll put the snap ring back on that went well now I'll put it back together just finished cleaning off the mating surfaces with some brake clean and a rag and a razor blade. Someone at some point lost the magnet, but I have a spare one. Okay, with a little bit of a wiggle, both halves went back together. I'd put some Permatex on. You don't get to see that because you'd be way too opinionated about it, Mr. Internet. Line up the non-threaded hole with the little groove. You'll see it. Remember, it's just aluminum. You need some Permatex on this nut too. Okay, that's ready to put in the ZJ.